Oh man, oh man. Ladies and gentlemen, we are in part three, I think, of this drama. Bunch of grown ass men crying about opinions of anime. And here we go. Trigger Senpai living up to his name again. So, at Kakon TV, I know you saw my comment on your recent video about me. It's been two hours, going three now, and still no reply. Are we gonna debate later today or not? Nah? Bro, I was probably sleeping. Like, do you think that, like, here. He, he, Okay, I know you don't get many views. I know that you don't get much engagement. But I want you to realize that when I click in the comment section, let's see how long it takes to find your comment on the video. Because I genuinely didn't even know until someone pinged me on Discord about it. So let's scroll. I make eight videos a day, by the way. A video every three hours. There are so many comments here, so many monkeys ooking out. There is no way that you genuinely think that you are so important that I would find your comment immediately. Notice how I'm still scrolling? Notice how I'm still scrolling? Where are you? I'm gonna keep scrolling. Here it is. We took... How long was that? We're bottom of here. We fi... No, here's, here's the comment. Here's the comment and we'll read this comment later. Because there's 24 replies on this and oh, there is so much to farm over there. So... Genuinely, I'm a bit too busy. There's so much going on. Your shit gets buried underneath. And the fact that you think you're so important is so funny to me. Because you're like an insect. Just another rage bait channel that we farm on a daily basis. You're a pit stop. A detour. You're actually nobody. But it's funny that you think that you're like a private like VIP. That like my comment, you didn't reply. I know you saw that shit, bro. He's so bad. You got my attention. Don't try to let this shit die down now. And act like you're too big for a discussion. Oh, too big for a discussion. Okay. So you want to bring in some metrics. You want to actually say, you, you, if, I'm not the one bringing this shit, okay? I think that I'm a very reasonable person. And if you've seen my content, you would notice that I don't discriminate on viewership of the people that I farm. There's random schizo Twitter accounts that I farm for fun. They don't even have a YouTube channel. They have like 12 followers. They get like 10 impressions per tweet. I still farm them because I don't discriminate. But if you're gonna bring up this card and try to make me look bad, I'll be the bad guy. Do you know what the only thing that matters in YouTube is in terms of making money? It's the monthly viewership. Monthly viewership and long-form content that translates to ad revenue. This is the only thing that matters. Sub count does not matter. Let's check out your dumbass. If I don't know if you can do math, because like the way seeing the way also, let's switch it up. I'm in my villain arc right now. Let's switch up the music. I gotta, I gotta put on the Classroom of the Elite music for this. If you don't know who Enryu is, please go give him a follow. His White Room soundtrack that we play, unironically. <laughs> this shit is peak. Guys, go please check out Mr. Enryu. His, his, I, I think it's, this soundtrack is like so fucking funny when I'm just doing this like ghetto fucking Frieza monologues. But this is the state of your content. You have 30,000 views over the last month. Your sub count is at almost 8,000, yet you have 30K. I'm sitting at 1.4 mil. So yeah, I do genuinely believe that you're not even qualified to be having a discussion with me based on just numbers alone. What good does it get me to bring you on my platform and give you a fucking shout out? Are you stupid? Of course you are. That's why you're still angry every day about me as I laugh at you. And maybe this is unfair, right? This is unfair. I got 24K subs, even though sub count doesn't matter and monthly viewership's the only thing that matters. You know what? Let's bring my alt account. Let's bring my alt account, yup. I think this is a little bit fair comparison. We watch Beyblade on this channel, baby. Mm-hmm. 2.93K subs. I got 205,000 views the last month. I'm still 
almost seven times bigger than you on my alt account. I want you to realize how insignificant you are. I'm nobody as well. But like the fact that you bring up viewership to antagonize me, I'm big, too big for a discussion. Buddy, you're an actual fucking ant that I accidentally stepped on. And I'm sorry if I hurt your feelings, but it is what it is. And another thing is you're not even qualified to be making these type of posts because you're so stupid that you got called out and you're crying about it, right? Look at this shit. My response to Kaka TV. Guess what this is? You click on this shit. It's an unlisted video. And guess what, guess what the best part is? This dude is such a coward that he doesn't make his streams public. And maybe there's some reason that we can watch later on and for sure I'll tackle that. But he only posted this after I made that video where I said, bro, remember this video? Y'all remember this shit? Someone named It's a Boy 11 had to fucking record your stream and upload it because you're too much of a coward until someone calls you out. And like the best part is that this video, and if we go to, you know, the actual recorded content, the best part is the insults being made, right? Bro is literally making threats of violence at me, right? He's actually making threats of violence at me when he is too much of a coward to even make this shit public, even publish it on his main video channel. He doesn't even show his face. You're not going to do anything. You're a pussy ass bitch talking shit behind a fucking monitor. You don't even show your face. Do you know why? Because you're too much of a coward to take any criticism. I've noticed a pattern of behavior for anonymous rage bait accounts. They never show their face because they can't take the heat. And that's the funniest part. Why are you getting mad, bro? It's all just for fun, right? We're all laughing here. Every day you wake up seething, foaming at your mouth as I call you a monkey and you dance for me like a monkey. What am I doing right now? I'm farming your dumb ass again, right? So that's kind of like the setup of what is happening with phase two right now. He made this post. It's like, oh, you better fucking know it. Okay, you know what? Let's read some comments, first of all. This is his channel, so I expect him to, you know, get a lot of support here. So I'm going into, uh, this is not my home, home court territory, right? This is now, uh, what's it called? You know, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm at an away game right now, right? I'm not going to get any, you know, fans, you know, defending me unless you guys are fucking crazy enough to go there. Let's, let's go there. I'm just here for the content. <laughs> okay, Frazier. Nah, you had the chance to debate him the other night when y'all were both live streaming. Don't act like you want the smoke now. <laughs> He's such a pussy. Trig is standing on business today. Oh, bro is doing tricks off of it. One reply. Should have done that when he had the chance to do it live, but he ducked it, lol. Uh-oh. This is Pomi. Pomi, what did you write? We... Need to stop Ka from cooking. Warning. A warning? Uh-oh. Last week, in now a deleted stream, while Ka was reacting to Reezer, I jokingly said Ka should stop cooking after he made an insane prediction. And one part. Deleted stream? I don't delete my streams. I don't even have that shit. Like, there's an option to never even record the streams because of the nature of content I do and the reaction in my business model. It makes no sense to publish the VODs. But like, don't think for a fucking second that this is some sort of like contradiction of hypocrisy of me calling him out when he is too much of a pussy to say shit. No, I always publish all my videos. Everything is live. You guys can see everything. Stop cooking after he made an insane prediction. Somehow. Khan noticed my particular message in the chat and flew into a rage. Frothing at the mouth, he screamed at the camera. I'll cook your whole family. And that nothing would stop him. And then he called me a monkey. Let's do a little bit of a monkey break. I, I got my banana. Remember, you are all my monkeys. And I am the monkey king. Cheers. All right. Let me just... I'm sorry. One second. Mm. 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 
This really shook me up, and I was pretty upset. In order to clear the air, I wrote him an email explaining how he made me feel and asking for an apology. This was more of a venting exercise for me, and I had no real explanation that Khan would even read it, let alone respond. Imagine my shock when a mere 30 minutes later, Ka replied with an incredibly kind and apologetic email and invited me to dinner at his mansion the very next weekend. I was in the area, so of course I accepted. Fast forward to the weekend and I'm sat in Ka's beautiful dining room being treated to course. After a course of incredible dishes, Ka himself was in and out of the kitchen, personally cooking each meal in a real display of culinary skill. I was absolutely charmed by the lengths he was going to ensure I was having a good time. The main course was a subtle red meat I couldn't quite place, accompanied by red apples. And he had paired it with a nice Chianti. A very nice classy touch. Hold up, is this on repeat by the way? Yes it is. What's a Chianti? Ah, uh, oh it's some fancy shit. Okay, okay. I didn't even know I had that. Cooking out the, busting out the best wine for you. After we had finished eating, I begged him for his recipe and he said he would only tell me if I admitted that he could cook. No sooner had I acquiesced, acquiesced, and then he revealed the horrifying truth. He had cooked my whole family, literally. Ka has taken from me everything. Everyone I cared about. Do you guys get it? killed his parents. I destroyed everything around him. I made him into glizzies, into hot dog meat, and then I fed him his own meal. My life has been ruined. He tried to spur me to silence, threatened to cook the whole world if I spoke out against him, but I'm not going to stay silent. Together, we can stop Ka from cooking. We must stop Ka from cooking. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a copy pasta if you're not aware of. Brilliant, Bomi. He came out calling Cut, calling you a pussy, and Bro think he ghetto, calling everyone monkeys. Like, do you think that, like, you're owning me right now? If you watch this video, I tell you that I literally have ghetto's beliefs. <laughs> when I define the definition of a monkey, I bring up Ghetto as an example. Like, I, I, I... You are so unaware of my brand and content that it just tells me that it's random kids just chirping without any clue thinking it's an own when it only helps me. Blood trying to act tough? For real, shit ain't even that deep. I don't know if this is my boys either. It might be his boys, but like, it's not that deep. It's fucking anime opinions online. You are a rage bait channel. All you do is create controversial videos without any fucking knowledge of the show to say a show sucks because it's trending. And then you get mad when someone calls you dumb. Brother, you asked for it. What, what, why are you getting so upset? Me calling someone out, that makes videos about me as acting tough? I can tell y'all motherfuckers can't fight, nor have y'all ever been in a physical altercation. It ain't that deep blood. This is the funniest part. That a man who is too scared to show his face in YouTube videos talking about anime. A man that was such a fucking pussy, he couldn't publish the fucking stream, let alone fucking record a video and publish it on his video. That someone else had to record it. You hide behind a screen, and you say this shit. Do you think that someone's gonna take you seriously? Like, like, I genuinely... Like, look at yourself in the mirror, and maybe that's what you're afraid of. These are all just projections of a fat fuck who can't, you know, do anything. Complaining. Bro, it's just like, you are the last person to be saying this shit. Just saying you're so big and you're muscular, you get all the bitches online. You're too scared to show your face. You're no one's taking you seriously. Damn, you ain't proposed a debate in a minute. You angry? <laughs> My man's triggered. Nah, I'm fine. Just want to see if he's willing to stand on that bullshit he's spewing. 
<laughs> what more do you think there is to debate? There is nothing, by the way. And this debate, there is like no point to do a debate. You know why? Because if you truly wanted to prove me wrong, in this live stream, you could have simply addressed my videos. You played this shit at two times speed, and by the 30 mi 35 minute mark, you couldn't even get past the two minute mark. You're ranting about dumb bullshit that has nothing to do with the talking points. You've portrayed to me that you have no clue about what you're talking about, right? And just look at the videos. The comments literally complains about Kaka pausing his video to talk and he does the exact same thing immediately. His response is just nuts. Threats and him screaming and just blabbering about his ignorant takes. Bro is literally regulus without the power. He's talking just to convince himself that he's right and not to convince others. The fact that he's replying to comment debunking him with I'm not reading all that just says it all. Bro had a chance. We're getting time stamped here, by the way. Bro had a chance to debate and state his point and he just dodged it. So he privated the stream because he knew he lost the battle before it even began. And you know what the best part is? If you look at the... Uh... Also, if you go to the mentions, by the way, you can also see this shit. Also, did you know that there's a different channel called this? What the hell is this? <laughs> at this point, after reading some comments, I realized, oh, this beef does not start with me. I thought that I'm a season one character in this Trigger Senpai arc. No, 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 no. I'm a season five character. This shit has been happening. There's a channel dedicated just to call him out on all this shit. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> Anyways. Uh, regarding why I'm bringing this up again. Now nah, I'm fine if he's willing to stand on the bullshit he's spewing, right? And uh, what else did he say? He said that he lost the battle before it even began. Like, he had an opportunity to show up on stream and say some shit, right? And what did he do? He said, it's either today or never. Look at that statement, how it, like, portrays itself in the beginning. Do you know why he said that? It's so that he has a way out. It's so that, oh, he's not responding to me? I guess he's too much of a pussy. Huh. Looks like he can't handle a logical intellectual debate. It's now or to it's now or ever. And now I can't debate him, right? Because it's the today has passed. That is the logic provided here. And that's why he's saying and people are, you know, saying this shit. But of course, he's too stupid to understand the implications of his words, as he's too busy trying to make a glass fucking house, a house of cards, just based on no foundation, because there's no critical thinking here. And again, if all you wanted to do was prove me wrong, all you have is the video. The video has the talking points. You don't need to come on stream and debate me. What are you here to debate? You're doing nothing. You're probably going to come on stream and crash out, say some slurs and try to get me banned. All you have to do is watch the video, Go through each... I did a play-by-play -play analysis. He was apparently so confused on why the video was so long and how much I was pausing. It's because I'm that genuine of a person that I'm willing to fucking do a play-by-play -play analysis on his retardation and give him an analytic, objective take based on my experience with ReZero. If you cannot debunk or even like refute those talking points, but all you're doing is crashing out, you're just fucking crying throughout this entire video at 2x speed, not even addressing any talking points, just simply fucking ooking like an actual monkey, what is there? What, what do you think a debate's gonna happen? Just respond to the video and then all farm that video. Two hours of rage. Two hours and didn't even watch the whole video. Yep, we already know who lost. Two hour yap session. Truly fucking sad. Oh boy, the irony. The fuck was that? The usual suspect. That's pretty racist. Right? That's. That's just whistleblowing at that point. Whistleblowing. No, is it called whistleblowing? It's the, it's like a proxy of racism where you see like well, well, well on a TikTok of like a shop, you know, like a mall being mugged, right? By a bunch of like people from a specific demographic. Then you say that it's, it's called dog whistle, dog whistle. Whistleblowing is when you are snitching from within like a company to let the public know of the faults happening. Yeah, dog whistle. This is fucked. I don't agree with that. Triggered cooked caca. Oh man. Not gonna lie. He ain't cooked she. Bro was crying and screaming for two hours and 30 minutes. Two, two, point, two, two and a half hours straight. I haven't seen one good argument come out of him. On the other hand, the other guy came with actual good points. 
Isn't it crazy that I actually took the time to do a play-by-play -play analysis to explain my talking points? Because I don't care about personal insults. Even though I do call him a retard monkey, which I think I'm still correct on, I don't care about that. I care about the talking points and talk about the show. He can't do that. Of course, a Chizuru fan would say this, lol. Lamal, more like he cooked so much that he burned the whole kitchen. Oh. <laughs> Two things here. Two things about the next comment thread. Cringe Catchers is his name, which I think is pretty funny. Because it's kind of like ironic that his name is Cringe Catchers. But based on this, I think he's the one being caught for being cringe. Yeah. 26 replies. Should we click this? <laughs> Should we click this? All right, let's go. Screaming and random insult isn't cooking, bro. Oh, bro. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Ugh. Imagine thinking crying about something without giving any actual point or argument is cooking someone. I thought you were supposed to catch the cringe, but be the cringe. Come on, bro. You became what you wanted to destroy. <laughs> cringe. Y'all are really sensitive that someone is critical of ReZero is overrated. Do you see yourself talking? And maybe this actually makes more sense why his name is Cringe Catcher, but he can't recognize he's being cringe. Because the one person being sensitive right now is Trigger Senpai and you. I think this is hilarious. People are just stating objective facts and observations. And then you're saying, why are you being so mean? Why are you guys so sensitive? No, you are a soft motherfucker. You're getting ratioed out of your mind. Do you want the heat? You entered the fucking Coliseum, and now you're getting called out. Motherfucker, you wanted to be a gladiator. Come on, gladiate. Kaka was doing a dead ass thing, the same thing, bozo. Also, sorry. Bro, no one is taking you serious with the lolly for a profile picture. Get a better profile. <laughs> when people cannot argue against the talking points, they simply resort to personal insults made on appearances or anything else. Basically, everything around the talking points. See, what I do is that I also insult, but at least you see the logic and then I insult, right? I speak some fucking facts. And if I didn't, people wouldn't support me like this. They can see the vision. They can see the logic. And then I call you fucking stupid, which I think I'm still correct on. But you can't address anything. Get a better profile picture. Get a better profile picture. Oh no, you got us good. What should I do? A guy with the word cringe is criticizing profile pictures. What shall we do? Leaving jokes aside, I don't know who's more sensitive. The guy who actually takes the time to watch a whole video supposedly criticizing a show and that fails to give actual facts about said show. Or the guy who keeps trashing on reactors yet makes a reaction video stream and then cries about Gaga making comments about his opinion then proceeds to do the exact same but worse since he doesn't even go past two minutes of the video going 2x to speed mind you and rants about it for 35 plus minutes. Damn, he's cooking. Andrea Suprema is fucking okay. Let him cook. Then proceeded to not finish the video and just start to talk about wanting to fight that person again. So funny to me. So unbelievably funny that a person who's too scared to put his fucking face, too scared to show himself on YouTube videos, someone who's so scared that they couldn't even fucking post a stream live, someone that is so fucking scared that all they can do is just yap behind a screen, yet talk about physical altercations? Brother, ain't nobody taking you seriously if you do that, while also making racist remarks. And here's the other part. Remember, the whole notion of monkey has nothing to do with color. White, black, Asian, Hispanic, I don't care. You're all monkeys to me and I'm the monkey king. When I call someone a monkey, it's based on the fact that you're a human being. You should have rational thought and composure of your emotion to actually think and talk without getting just enraged and crashing out. You've provided me enough fucking details, not in just this video too, but also this stream, that you're not one of those person. You can't control your human emotions. That's why I call you a monkey. And then to hide behind this like, oh, bros being racist. You don't show your face. How am I supposed to know you're black based on the way you talk? Are you suggesting then 
that I'm I should be racially profiling you. Oh, this guy talks like a black guy. Hmm. That is a level of racism I can't even comprehend. And I bet you haven't even thought about this because you can't think more than three logical fucking tree decision making trees, right? You can't. Brother, the moment someone threatens to beat someone up just because they don't agree with them, you can tell that person is crazy. How can you defend someone like that? Because they're just glazing. And you guys are glazing too, right? You guys are glazing too. And they're glazing themselves. We all have our own echo chambers, right? But the difference is, I continue to grow while you are a dead channel. Do you know why? It's because your content, even if you have a bunch of, you know, haters that's watching you, they'll never form a community. The reason why this guy is getting 30k views per month is because his content is just based on hatred. He cannot grow to a significant degree because the viewers are tourists who don't watch the content. They simply see the title that says, I hate ReZero. Bunch of ReZero haters will then show up and brigade the video. And then what happens after that is that the, um, they don't even watch the video. They're, they're simply tourists that won't be his community. They'll only show up for the trends and that's it. That's why these rage bait channels are all fucking dead in the water while my alt account watching Beyblade is just popping off. It's really sad. Uh, where were we? We were at this part, right? Uh, I'm not gonna do this part. Wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. This is... Where is this? Where is this? Where was I? Was I over here? Uh, where was Andreas at? Yeah, yeah, we were over here. Oh no, you insulted my profile pic. I think we should retreat, man. Insults were too much for me. He got us by trying to do the same thing. <laughs> Triggered. <laughs> Buddy, you slang an insult at me. I'm just doing the same thing. Nah, he was being a psycho, but his points on ReZero and Super's character are fucking correct, bro. Doesn't care about his parents, has no desire to try to fix his life, and he just wants to talk immediately. I don't care about ReZero talking points. We're farming drama right now. This is more ReZero content. You guys can read all that shit. You guys can all fucking argue, right? You're just arguing, arguing, arguing. Sure, sure, sure. Man, Triggered is so racist and childish. People always call stuff trash and other stuff when they don't understand or can comprehend other stuff. Let only time trigger would be when something is actually trash and reason is not that. Trigger is just pull, uh, putting trolling and rage based so much in this video I found it funny. Also, no wonder the channel is called Trigger Senpai because a kid gets triggered so much and it's funny. Very true. And that is the comment section for this video. But we're not done yet. No, no, no. No, 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 no. We're going to now read the video comments about... My shit. Oh, wait, 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 go back, go back, go back, go back. We gotta finish this part. Bro, you beefing with the guy who was watching an anime girl moan and act like he was giving back shots. Okay. I'll show you what that was. And here's the funny part again, right? Do you think that, like, I'm trying to hide shit? Here it is. Are you ready? Context. I gave Rene back shots. This girl shows up every fucking morning to wake me up and make me breakfast, but it gets annoying. Let me sleep in. You're so annoying. Stop it. And here is me giving Rene back shots. Let's go. Mm. 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 Take that shit. Yeah, you like that shit? Fuck you, waking me up in every mm. fucking morning. Mm. Bitch, you wake me up every fucking morning. Make That's me the right. fucking breakfast and leave, bitch. That's you right. want something to eat too? I'll give you something right now. Mm. Take them. Uh huh. Do you think that, like, you're getting me right now? Like, do you actually think that posting that, like, I'll, I am, <laughs> I'm not hiding anything, it's all public. I'll show you in the video, but you guys have no clue about what my brand is. So again, you're coming in, you're thinking like this is a known. And another thing is here is this. Notice how again, nobody can actually talk about the talking points. They all resort to, oh, he looks like this or he does that. Therefore, he's stupid. Not a single ounce of logic pertaining to the actual video or the idea presented in the video. When you cannot attack the idea, you attack the person insulting them. And of course, I do that shit too, but the difference is I attack the idea and then I insult you. 
Was it the guy who called you a monkey three times in this video? Yes, and I think it's the counter for monkey is way higher than three now. You ever dropping a One Piece video? I hate comments like this. You know why? Because like you'll make a community post about like, hey guys, um, I'm busy and I got some shit going on. And someone else will say, when are you going to react to this? <laughs> just... Just... Has, he, bro, bro, don't care about the drama. Bro just wants to make a movie. <laughs> oh shit, Triggy ain't playing. How did you... Oh, you posted again. Wait. Did he say he was going to do this or nah? And where did the I don't want to see the associate with bro go? Time for the Marine Ford War Summit. Wild. No, I wouldn't compare this as a Marine Ford or a Summit. I think this is more... Luffy versus Bluno. When Luffy uses Gear 2 for the first time. I think that's what's happening right now. He's a reaction channel. I'll be surprised if he replies. What do you mean you'll be surprised if he replies? Bro, I respond to fucking everything. I make eight videos a fucking day. Brother, come on. I'm responding. It's, we're at part three right now. This is a part two. We're going to part three, right? You have no idea how this shit works. Oh no! Kaka gonna get cooked again? I'm so scared, guys. Trigger versus Senpai versus Kaka TV. The YouTuber debate is on, probably. That shit ain't happening, bro. See how quickly he is to dismiss it? Because he's so scared. He's such a pussy. He's like, nope, it's not gonna happen, bro. You have one day. You have one hour to respond where it's never happening. It's now or never, bro. Bro is trembling, quaking in his boots. Why would anyone waste their time debating you? <laughs> to provide your entire channel is a sorry excuse at a rage bait by calling everything trash to be a contradiction oh my god greater society who are you what the fuck you are just oh my goodness he's going up on this shit bro you call one of the best character development after all times in villain saga season 2 trash oh this is what i'm talking about these are the leftovers okay these are the remnants of past drama where again, this isn't season one. I'm a season five character coming into this. Not aware of all the shit that happened before, bro. That alone wipes out any credibility you have. All you do is say things are trash, but don't give any actual reasons. All you do is attack fan bases and say something is trash without any facts to back it up. And you're doing it now with one of the best written isekais and MCs of all time. Based. Moyai. <laughs> Popcorn. Wait, wait, what's going on? I'm still arguing with Reese Real Fanboys! Here's a part. You don't have to. You can simply walk away. You don't have to force yourself to be mad. Stop hurting yourself. This is self-harm. I understand that you have no job, you have nothing going on, and the only thing you can do is argue with other fucking anime stuff online. But, like, go live your life, bro. You're wasting your time. What happened? I don't see your comment on the video. Unless I'm looking at the wrong one or did he delete it? You have to click newest. Okay. Oh, shit. Tricky on demon timing. What's this about? I haven't seen your past streams. Yeah, because he's a fucking pussy. He just unlisted all of it. Publish it, bro. A long story. And now, we're going to be entering the comment section where he actually posted that shit. So, let's go. Where are we? Uh, and again, check out Enryu if you haven't. Check out Enryu, his soundtracks, remixes. Oh, just so good. Okay. Now that we farmed the community post, let's go to this. Alright, let's find his comment. You like this one? Best line I've heard. You all are monkeys. And I am the monkey king. <laughs> you like that? I think that's one of my best lines. I thought about it. I was like, I don't know when I thought about it. I think like I was... Was I in the shower or was I like at the gym? I'm like, what's a cool line? Oh, I come up with that line. I'm like, no, take that. Take some, take some notes. Take some notes. He truly is triggered. <laughs> yes, sir. 
As for someone who has been vocal against triggered content for the past two years, it's just mind-boggling how little he has changed throughout those years. Also, Nicholas Light over here. <laughs> Nicholas Light looking at Amelia's buff. Look at that. Look at that, bro. Keep in mind that he verbally belittled Just Thought for liking Fairy Tale. Okay, this is what I'm talking about. This is the season 1, 2, 3, 4 content I'm talking about, okay? <laughs> I'm like season 5 character coming in, okay? The lore is very deep. So, there was a content creator named Just Thought. And, and, and I guess triggered uh, belittled Just Thought for liking Fairy Tale while saying he has no friends and jerks off in his infamous response to Just Thought's Demon Slayer review. And also, I uh, also had called a list exist and i kid you not closeted people for calling him out so like bro is racist bro is a coward bro is homophobic can we just like like bro has just got everything he's just the perfect cocktail of all the fucking shittiest qualities of a human being huh we're calling him out on his questionable takes on not wanting to engage with the JoJo's because they look gay. This tells you everything of who he is as an individual. By the way, isn't he a Demon Slayer fan out of all things? Was a Demon Slayer fan considering how on and off he is with the show. It tries to act so passive about it, so it's hard to say really. And that he couldn't take the Captain Mac Who the fuck is Captain? Dude, there's like five separate CCs being listed here. A-list, just A-list exist, just stop, me, fucking Captain Matt. Who, so many lore, so many early season characters. Dude, I need to do a fucking recap. I don't know these characters either, man. Respond seriously, so thank God I found another YouTube to prove triggered wrong. Bros are rage baiter just like Johnny Somali. Kyle's gonna cook this guy just like Fraud Lad. Just here to catch the farm. Very based. And if you haven't watched the Johnny Somali video, we're farming Asmongold with this too. That's right. Korean Asmongold. Can't believe Asmongold's opinion. That's right. Let's see some more. More drama. Hell yeah. Call, call, motherfucker. 708. Uh, that's more ReZero stuff. It's ironic that he tells you to let him cook. That you gotta give the video time to marinate. But he won't give that same energy for the show. Bro wants to have his cake and eat it. And again, like, if you look at that video, right? If you look at that video where, uh, it's boy 11, right? Wait, there's so many of them. Is it this guy? Fuck, I can't even find it. Basically, the recorded video, right? The uh, recorded um, stream for two hours. He stunlocked the entire time. Is ranting about anything but ReZero. It's Boy11. I don't have to watch. I don't have to play. You guys know what that video is, right? It's just so funny that, like, he won't... I did a fucking play-by-play -play analysis. I, ha I was the most fucking objective and authentic myself I could be. Giving you the most just raw takes about ReZero that I had. And he can't even watch the whole thing on 2x speed. Nor can he even talk about any fucking talking points. <laughs> I don't like ReZero, by the way. So, by having this at the end... This makes the comment even more credible because now we have <laughs> anti ReZero fans protecting me. <laughs> After watching that stream, yeah, don't even bother making a video on it. He didn't even finish your video. Imagine that he watched your video to X speed and didn't even went past half of it after two hours. Yeah, definitely don't watch the video. It's too long and he doesn't even acknowledge when you point out something that actually happened in the show. Like the fact that Subaru uses RBD. Yeah, 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 sure. I watched the whole video. Everything he says comes back to him because he thinks he's so smart. And he said that One Piece is a bad story. Truth, monkey. So sad, to be honest, but he doesn't deserve any single pity for the garbage rage bait. <laughs> Peak farming. He's crying so bad. Oh shit, it's Andreas again. He's crying so bad, XD. I'm literally watching the stream and it's 35 minutes in and he's not even past two minutes of your video. Then complains that you stopped the video to comment things. And then he does the exact same thing. Oh boy. Talk about not wanting a conversation. Also, the video is going at two times the speed, so it should be, uh, it should. So imagine not going past the two first minutes and saying Kaka is crashing out. Yeah. Yeah, I see. Like I said in my comment, those people love to project themselves. There's no way Trigger Dude just said he would smack Kaka on the face. Again. Physical threats of violence? When you are too much of a coward to show your face in a video, 
let alone publish your streams until I call you out and then you post the unlinked video? Like, who would take you seriously? You're too scared to even have your face out there because you know you have terrible takes and you get fucking shit on. And that's how you protect yourself by trying to seem anonymous online. Not to mention the many racist remarks Trigger keeps saying. That's also the best part, where he misunderstands the context of Monkey. He then believes that like, okay, I think he was being racist, so I'm gonna be racist back. People that actually care about these virtues, people that actually care about like, oh, you shouldn't be racist, there is no way you would be racist to someone back. Even in a hypothetical situation where someone was racist to you, you wouldn't engage in that behavior. Meaning, you're playing the fucking victim card. You're absolutely playing the victim card. Now, here's a context of when you're not playing the victim card. There was a video I farmed about... Was it Crucify? This guy, right? In that video, he basically showed up to my stream where you can see my face as an Asian person. Then he stated, Bro, why are your eyes so far apart? That is such a common, casual racism thing that you can say. And you can't play, Oh, you know what? I was just kidding. Nah, 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 nah. That is a total... Him saying that versus me calling someone that I don't even know is black. That term has absolutely no fucking connection. But you know stupid people are going to just say that. Dub farm, base kaka. The Trigger Senpai guy is making community posts asking for a debate. I know. He lives... I live rent-free in his head. Time for more farming. Yes. I genuinely like to know the guy's anime he doesn't criticize or hate. It's probably something stupid like Boku no Pico. Or Matt... No, he's pretty homophobic, but then again, he could be closeted himself. Or imagine all of his rage bait views are actually the animes he enjoys. Kaka, Giga Chad, Trigger Senpai, Monkey. We need season two vid re. <laughs> I feel like he's gonna have a mental breakdown if I do that, though. I feel a bit sorry because he's actually so hurt and angered by it. But at the same time, if he's making physical threats and being racist, that's fair game, right? My favorite content. As someone who only watched half of season one and stopped, I couldn't stand super yapping. Sure. Pin. <laughs> By the way. Yep. What a fucking loser. I was first! You should pin my comment! <laughs> Get a fucking life pussy. Where's his comment though? We have to sort by new. Where is he? All right, now. Oh boy. Bro, what did he say? He said that he's too busy, right? I have more important stuff to worry my life. This is like phase three going on phase four. I don't think you have more important stuff going on. I think this is your moment of glory. Or now you're getting a little bit more engagement than before because I called you out. You don't have more important stuff. You're begging for a debate. You're begging me to read your comments. You wrote an entire fucking essay in MLA format with citations. All you can do is think about me and obsess about me. So hey, let's give some let's give some respect. Right, he wrote this shit out. I so I'm finna make this quick. One, I unlist or delete all my streams because I don't want to mix my live stream with my actual content. The live streams that actually benefit the channel I keep up. What? Mixing live streams with my actual content? Do you think that like someone like you who gets 30,000 views a fucking month knows the YouTube algo better than me? <laughs> Are you fucking stupid? You must be. What is this dumbass fucking opinion? The reason I stopped streaming on YouTube is because I wanted to Twitch. The live streams and your actual content, it's a separate fucking algorithm. This does not hurt you. Don't lie. You intentionally hid the stream because you're too much of a fucking pussy to say it 
we're in a public space where people can see it. Then when I call you out, then you post the unlisted link on a community post. Come on. If you're going to at least try to lie, have some logic that makes sense. You're getting caught with your pants down again. Also, I play a lot of copyright stuff. So do I. And say a lot of outrageous stuff that would be deemed offensive on YouTube. <laughs> so do I. So no, I didn't prime on the stream because I'm scared of you. Like, seriously. <laughs> I, again... I probably said way more worse things. I probably have way more copyright content here. Okay. And not only that, we already have the video where, right? Like, do you think the video's gonna get taken down? Someone fucking recorded your video and uploaded it here. Come on. Come on. And let's say for a moment, again, you're too, too stupid to even think about this, but like I can think on like three separate, uh, logical decision trees ahead of you let's for us let's, let's think for a second that like you're hiding behind the whole limited ads or demonetizing process if this meant so much to you and you wanted to call me out you could still publish that shit and simply just demonetize uh the content for example let's look at this right right now it's unfortunate that this is going under manual review for dan you know what i could do i can just do this easy i could you can just post it that's it. And you know you're not gonna get make any fucking money off that video, so who cares? It's just the point, right? Come on. Come on. Don't fucking lie to me. You're being such a pussy right now. Just say it. Number two, I yell and crash out all the time on stream for entertainment purposes. This is not entertainment purposes. People who saw this video sees you having a mental breakdown because you can't fucking cook in the kitchen. Get out. My name is literally Trigger Senpai. Yeah, I see that. You're getting triggered. I'm going to exaggerate my action when streaming. No, it, it feels to me that like you are genuinely so mad and upset that you're just crying and having a fucking mental breakdown. Anyone with a brain cell knows that streamers exaggerated for entertainment purposes. Yeah, I agree. But anyone with a brain cell can also watch this video and understand that you are just screeching like a fucking monkey and it's not funny, it's sad. Yes, I said some Asian jokes, but only cause you call me a monkey and an idiot. Which I think is true. You are. But don't for a second think that there's racial connotations in that. Again, you're playing a victim card. I wasn't offended. I was actually laughing. Okay. All right. I didn't even see the racist remarks. I'm not offended. I grew up in a very racist time where I was the only Asian kid growing up. I have a very thick skin. That's why I laughed this shit off. You're posting laughing emojis while crying on this video. I didn't want to talk to you online because I don't like talking to disingenuous people. Do you know what disingenuous means? Not candid or sincere. Typically by pretending that one knows less about something that one really does. How about this? Let's consult our glorious machine god chat GPT. Hey babe. Do you know about the concept of rage baiting content on YouTube? Oh my god. Oh my god, hey. She does know. I see, I see. So, can you tell me what the term dis- Oh, uh, sorry. What the term dis- in, How do you spell that? Disingenuous. Right? Come on. Right? Right? All right. Here it is. Can you- assert the notion that someone who is rage baiting online for negative engagement for the sake of rage bait is a disingenuous person? Yes, I can definitely assert that someone who's intentionally rage baiting online, primarily for negative engagement, could be considered disingenuous. The reason is that their actions are centered around creating a false or exaggerated emotional response in order to manipulate their audience into reacting, often negatively. In other words, they're not being authentic about their opinion or attentions. They're leveraging outrage to generate views and attention. This is his video, by the way. Can you notice a pattern of behavior? Every video. 
Can you see something? See, when there's one video, I think that's a dot on the graph, right? When you have one data point, that's a dot on the graph. But when you have multiple dots on the graph, what does that mean, my monkeys? Is anyone in the class paying attention? Multiple dots on the graph means? Anybody? Come on, guys. I always bring you this analogy. That's a pattern. Yes. Right? When you have a graph and you have one outlier, right? You have one outlier here. Or maybe some random one over here. It doesn't mean much, right? But when you have repeated dots in the graph that suggest the same thing, suddenly you have a pattern of behavior. And this pattern of behavior is pointing to a notion that someone is very disingenuous. Come on. If a creator is purposely sensationalizing or misrepresenting an issue to provoke anger or frustration, they're not engaging in genuine dialogue or an honest expression of their own views. They're instead prioritizing the reaction they can get from others, right? And even my reaction myself right now. He's getting a little bit more crumbs of engagement here, right? Still fucking pathetic compared to me in my alt account. But hey, he's getting some crumbs. So like, it's in his best interest to keep fucking ooking out like an ape. And then start to say, look at me, look at me. Come on, fight me, bro. Fight me, bro. This some Johnny Somali shit. Straight up, this some Johnny Somali shit. You're a loot goblin. You're begging. This is like a humiliation ritual. It's some like weird twisted logic of I want to just be... I just want people just be mad at me and just fucking get angered. And I want to take that hate. And oh, I just... Like, what is this, bro? If we want to go to Findom, you need to start paying me for this. This tactic is inherently disingenuous because it's about stirring up emotion without actually contributing to a meaningful, sincere conversation or offering any real substance, which pretty much summarizes his entire fucking video. So yes, using rage baiting as a strategy is often a form of disingenuous behavior because the goal isn't the truth or honest engagement, but rather exploitation of people's emotion for personal gain. And remember, all he has to do is react to this video and respond to my talking points. If he can simply do that, you can debunk everything I said and you can then have a genuine fucking honest conversation. But your intention is not to have an honest conversation. You just want to show up on stream and say outlandish shit and think that you won. Like it's so fucking obvious that you are not disingenuous and the fact that you're saying that you're this you're not like like you're the fact that you're calling me disingenuous brother i watched your entire video i spent 44 fucking minutes listening to your retardation but i still did it i did a play-by-play -play analysis there's probably no one on this platform that gave this much honest authentic effort into listening into what you're fucking saying and you're gonna call me disingenuous Helping a rage bait channel? That's crazy. Am I taking crazy pills? I feel like Bell and Danmachi right now. All Freya and everyone gaslighting me. People who lie for the sake of protecting stuff they like. You said Subaru's life at home was worse than what he was going through in the fantasy world that keeps killing him. No. I don't think so. You can probably misunderstand what I'm saying because you're too stupid to understand. You could timestamp. What I remember saying is, Subaru's life at home sucks so much that he doesn't want to go you know, back home. He didn't really think about it that much, nor does he even know how to, right? So like, again, you're twisting my words because you don't even know what I'm saying. If you provided a stamp, timestamp where you thought I said that, all you have to do is that, do a play-by-play -play analysis and people will then see, is this the truth or not? But you're too stupid to understand what I'm saying, so you twist my words. He also said that because Ren was being nice to him, it made sense why he wanted to help Should I bring up episode 7? Sh should I bring up episode 7 and point to the exact moment when Subaru is in bed with the realization that the people that's holding his hand right now is actually Rem and Ram and then he realizes, oh my god. He has a decent argument there? No, he doesn't. Because he's too stupid to understand the story. And because he's so stupid, he doesn't understand 
that this is not the reason. Being nice? Bro, he, they saved his life. It's just... It's crazy that you think this makes sense. Sorry, dude. I don't want to talk to anyone that can't even admit to obvious flaws of the series. Here's the best part. I probably have called out ReZero on its bullshit more than a lot of people. When I was in season two, I was fucking calling that shit out. I even agree with you that Super is a fucking pathetic loser and that you don't, if you don't agree, you know, align with, you know, his identity, that's perfectly fine. He's a neat loser. If you actually watch the video, you would understand that because I'm so, so authentic that I agree with you there. But you didn't watch the entire thing. That's fucking crazy. If me being honest and giving logical reasons on why I don't like something as rage bait, Again, there's no logical reasons. Then I guess I'm a rage baiting. That's really soft ass way of thinking. <laughs> I don't need to think. I just need to see. <laughs> just... <laughs> Come on! You can't be that stupid! If you still feel a need to continue this, then we can set up a debate letter you want. No. You are not qualified to be even fucking making these comments. You would be a waste of time for me to bring you on my stream. I make way more money than you on an hourly basis than you compared to like the social media rankings. And just on that notion alone, it would be unproductive to have you here and screech like a fucking ape for three hours. Why would I do that when I can just simply just make fun of you like this? And here's the best part. You're not here to have a debate. All you have to do is respond to the talking points here and provide timestamps. The video is there for anyone to see. If you truly wanted to, you know, prove me wrong, you would simply watch that. But this stream, this video tells me you are far from wanting to do that. So you're already coming in here with disingenuous intentions. You're a waste of fucking time. I could be making so many more videos and making more money off that time compared to just arguing with you online. Why would I give you a platform to put a spotlight on you more that would only help you? Just like, think about the incentives and what my best interest is. You actually think I would bring you on? You gotta be so stupid, right? Like, and I don't even care about who's winning, who's losing. None of this shit matters. This is grown ass men arguing about anime opinions online. This is the most unserious, pathetic fucking behavior. I'm an opportunist. When I see somebody that I can farm, I do it because I get the fucking bag. And that's why I can do this for a fucking living. You are a literal detour. You are a pit stop. I'm going to forget about you in a week if you just fucking let this go. And we're going to be con like co covering so much fucking content. Because again, I make eight videos a day. The fact that you thought you were so important, that you're some VIP that deserves my attention, that's crazy. You were an actual fucking ant that I accidentally stepped on along the way, and we're going to forget about you. You are insane if you think that for a second. And by the way, like, look at the fucking videos. You and I are not the same. So, like, it's crazy that you think you even have the right, that you're qualified to be standing on the same stage as me. When you're just this, and I'm hitting this, and remember, why am I bring up the viewership shit? It's because this motherfucker brought it up. This motherfucker brought it up. Act like you're too big for a discussion. You want to antagonize me and say that I'm discriminatory towards smaller channels? Nah. I farm stupid random Twitter accounts. I farm channels that has 10 subs. I don't care about whether or not you're big or small. I see an opportunity of making money and I'm like, yo, here comes a fucking bag. You shouldn't be asking that. Come on, bro. What are you doing? Now, let's read some comments. Mm -mm -mm. Let's read some comments. You keep talking about Subaru going home, like he can take the bus there. He already met someone from another world who's been there for 19 years. The Subaru is not returning that easily. Also, he doesn't want to go home, right? Being a hero in a new fantasy world when his life back home sucked is pretty appealing. If you don't understand that concept, you gotta be stupid. Uh, I don't care about ReZero talking points. I want to cover the drama. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. The abuse, abuse. Keep fucking arguing. Keep fucking arguing. Keep fucking arguing about random shit. Come on. Is there any fun comments? Triggy always causing beef and shit. Sup, Triggy? Bruh, they're fucking with me. <laughs> so Subaru thinks... Oh, God, I don't care about that. <laughs> okay, what the hell? <laughs> the fuck you yipping about? This is actually the opposite... Of okay, whatever. I don't care. I don't I don't care about reason or talking points. I care about spicy drama. Yeah, yap about the source material. Yap about the source material. Uh, la la la. Bro's angry. It's all rage baiter. Do you have hair in your spell? <laughs> okay, this is fucking stupid. And that is pretty much the uh, extent. And and this is an hour long. We got we gotta start fucking reacting, bro. It's almost two in the morning. We gotta get going. But here is the summary. You're a loser, and you're a coward. You're too scared to put your face in the videos, just like every other rage bait channel, because you know you get your ass cooked, and you're so sensitive that you can't help but see then cry every moment that I farm your dumbass. The reason that I'm bigger than you, the reason that my alt account is bigger than you, is because I actually am a very genuine person who gives his raw takes and people agree with me. I don't rely on hating random trends to elicit a, a fake fucking reaction of negativity. All I do is cater towards my community and that's why they have my back. You can't even fucking compete with my second channel because you are a dead channel. All you're gonna do is farm ReZero Season 3 is trash. And yeah, that's probably gonna get like 10k, 20k plus views. What does that mean at the end of the day? You're not ever gonna be able to do this shit for a living. And maybe this is just a hobby, but just a little fucking advice. This kind of behavior will never create a community. These are tourists that are simply clicking on to these videos that don't actually watch it because they also hate the series that's represented in a title. And because of that, you don't form long-lasting communities. You only have hate-watching tourists. Tourists that only want to see what did he say about the shit that I hate. And the fact that you get mad and start crying and seething online because someone fucking responded to you in the most authentic way just proves how much of a coward you are. You then resort to physical violence threats, racist remarks, despite being an anonymous face person. No one will ever take yourself seriously. You are an absolute loser at life and in content creation. If you actually wanted to be better at content creation, I would tell you to watch these performance review videos. Because I'm such a benevolent god that I literally tell you the template on how to fucking run a channel. And, you know, this is mostly anime reaction content, you know, for the analytics and learning how to do it. But it's a wide appealing content that you can apply to any niche. And you could also just do anime reactions too. It's so fucking easy and lazy, right? It's easy money. But you won't, because you're a loser. And all you can do is cry, cry, cry. You're not charismatic. You have no fucking personality other than hating something just because it's popular to hate on it. And guess what? That's why you're a dead channel. Laugh, and the entire world will laugh with you. Cry, and you will cry alone. And you, monkey, you're very alone right now. See you in phase four, maybe.